Here is the U.S. Amateur Radio Band Plan, as published by ARRL. If you're anything like me, you're constantly referring to this document. While the band plan provides very useful information, there's a little bit of a problem in that it doesn't include the best practices or accepted practices for how to operate on the various frequencies within each band. The other problem is, is that you have to print this out or carry a paper copy or a book with it in there. What I was able to do is find an application that works on my Android tablet that gives me all of that information and is very easy to carry because I typically have my tablet with me anyway. I can install this application from the home page on my Android tablet by first opening the Google Play Store. Once that's open, I'll do a search for Radio Band Plan. The search returns a few different results. We're going to go ahead and pick the first one, which is U.S. Amateur Radio Band Plan. I'm going to click that, and I can take a look at some of the comments, maybe more in the description, and learn a little bit about this application. But in reality, I'm going to go ahead and install. Once I click install, I'm prompted for an acceptance dialog. And I go ahead and I click accept. And then the installation begins. Once the installation is complete, I can click open to run the application. When you open the application, you can see a legend and you can see a graphical representation of the ARRL band plan. You will also see some advertisements for software like a ham logger or other pop-ups that uh, may get on the screen but really don't cause a problem. Now what you can do is you can click on various bands and you get more detail. This is what I was talking about earlier when you talk about best practices or accepted practices for how you operate on each band. It's really helpful. You get a breakdown of how the different frequencies on that band are used for maybe digital modes, APRS, CW, or voice. More options can be accessed through the menu at the upper left hand corner. For example, you can filter on the type of license that you have. So if you take a look at technician, for example, you'll see what privileges are available specifically to a technician licensed operator. In addition to the ham bands, there are other things like non-amateur bands that you can get information about. You have to continue with ads without buying the paid version of the application. But you can see here you have citizen band, FRS, or GMRS. And you can see a little bit of information about the various frequencies or channels that are available in those modes. The application also gives you the ability to look up various call signs for North American amateur radio operators. In the event you need a logging application to track your various contacts, an application is also made by the same producers of this application. You can go ahead and install that if you like. If this was helpful, go ahead and click like and subscribe. That way you can see similar videos of a similar nature. I want to thank everybody for watching. I really appreciate the support of the channel.